Hello everyone and welcome back to DJ's Gaming. We are here with another episode of Small Land Survive the Wilds. In the last episode, we got the Icarus Wings. And while I was out and about, I went and created the strongest armor in the game. It looks awesome. It's kind of like a Black Knight kind of look. But it's the Scorp Scorplomanet Vem Vambrace. Uh, blunt resistance. It looks like it's giving me blunt resistance, decent cold protection. And I believe it is the strongest armor in the game, yet maxed reach, max reach. The only thing I need to upgrade is the Chitin Spear. Because there is no piercing weapons after the spear. Like, if I come over here... Blunt damage, blunt damage, edge damage, edge damage, edge damage. I mean, yeah, the Morning Star has both blunt and piercing, but then edge damage, blunt damage. I mean, the hand cannon's piercing damage, but it's a long range weapon. Edge damage, blunt damage. Like, there's no. But there's still also three items that I haven't figured out what the heck they are. But today, we are going to, we have the blue egg, <laughs> the blue bird egg, and we have the 500 hoots. I have taken out so many of the, the guys. I have so many potions and antidotes and, and healing patches and seriously. Now, I'm going to do something that I don't like to do, and that is... I'm gonna have these guys, I'm gonna have him leave my party, and I'm gonna have my Scorpion leave my party, so that I have a hundred available. I do not know exactly how powerful the uh, bird is. I know the bird's like the most powerful thing you can get, but I don't know if it is gonna like take up all hundred points. Pretty much, I don't know if I'm going to get to have my guys back. And so, I am fast enough and strong enough. And also, guys, I am max level. I am max level. You cannot get any higher. And I did just buy a bunch of ammo. And uh, we learned in the last episodes that doing the eggs do get you the points. And the eggs, I have learned, are very easy to get. There is a spawning glitch over here. That is interesting. I'm going to get rid of them because I don't like spawning glitches. And then also in the... Oh my gosh, it almost looks like there's fish coming up that. That is so cool looking. Anyways, also in the last episode, we made to where we can... We can actually go and not worry about getting attacked by the bird. So as you can see, I moved to the northernmost great tree. There are no great trees farther north than what I am at right now. And I can fly pretty dang far into the, uh, into the northern path up here. Man, it's kind of surprising how far I can fly in. And I mean, if I take a break and then fly again, get me even farther. And I mean, yeah, look at that. Now I'm already here. But yeah, look at that. I am out running everything. Is that frog still chasing me? Ah, the frog's still chasing me. I'm just going to keep on running. I am getting away from giant froggy thing. And we are there. I mean, it honestly it is not hard to get to this guy from our, our new place. And... We can, if we set up catapults, like, if we can maybe set up a catapult right on the tip right there, and launch ourselves from there, we could maybe even get even farther. Alright. I brought you an egg. It takes months to ra raise and train a companion. I can give you one of my own, and I'll train the hatchling from your egg to replace it. You'll need to pay my fee, though. 500 hoots. And there we go. Now, where... Which one is it? 
Oh, hi, you? Are you it? Okay, here, let's get, let's see if we can get down here. Okay, oh my gosh, he shakes the ground when he lands. Uh, I want to pet, for one, and then inspect. He's a level one right off the bat. Um, right off the bat, he also has metabolism, biolumin. Why is it everything I guess has bioluminescence? But he also has thick chitin. This companion has a hardened care base, greatly reducing damage taken. He only has a thousand. Well, he's still only a thousand hit points. That's a bit of a surprise. Oh wow, though. Oh. I practically have creative flight. Look at that. I practically have creative flight. He does not tire. How do I get down? Like, how do I land? Uh, descend to sea. Left control is land. Okay. And left control. Oh, wow. Okay, I want to see, I want to know how much damage this guy can do. Okay. Can he not attack? Can he, is he not, can he not attack things? Like, is that all he is, is just a good flying mount? Can he not attack things? Oh, and you, you can't just stop mid, mid flight. I need to, I, I, I have to, like, okay, this is not easy to land. Ow, ow, ow! He is freaking huge, and he is already... I can't attack with him. Like, that's... I don't know how to attack with him. Okay. Now, can I have... Yeah, I can still have my scorpion join. Can he not attack? That's now... And that's now a question I have. Plus the fact that, I mean, how the heck do you get this guy to land where you want him to land? Alright. I have an idea. Let's ascend, or descend. Let's go over to the starting base. That's uh, right over. Where am I? That's too far south. There we are. Now, we're starting base. You wait here, because you will just kill everything in one hit. Okay. I want to see him attack something. I want to see him fight something. If he can. He can? Does this thing even damage me? But now, if I'm on him, I can't attack with him. I'm not 100% sure how useful this guy is going to be. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the equivalency of having, you know, creative flight. Be able to just fly wherever I want. I'm going to have to have my scorpion with me whenever we're in a fight. And where we're currently going, he is actually would be a horrible thing to bring to where we're going. Because now that we have him, we're going to go ahead and go to the tower. We're, we're going to go to the tower, which this guy will be horrible in that party, er, in that location. He's just absolutely horrible. The bird is nice. It's nice having creative flight. The only issue, though, is it, it doesn't do much in combat. I think outside of the tower, it would be just fine. Just not not in the tower and then of course we have to have the scorpion with us whenever we're out honestly i was contemplating maybe even leaving the stag beetle home for this tower but whatever we'll do we'll bring him he's fine all right guys we are going to conquer this thing this time correctly and at the right time because as you guys know i've conquered this place before already and then I actually conquered it a second time uh, just because I wanted the hoots. This is how I got so many hoots. You can get 500 hoots going through this guy's village. Uh, now, I accidentally 
started conquering this thing without doing my little intro that I was planning to do. Just because I've done this a little too often already. Again, they are not for a group of people that are supposed to worship scorpions. They do not make their place very scorpion friendly. But yeah, and then those turrets, you can't shut down those turrets like you can the outer turrets. Which makes sense because like the idea is this place is supposed to be crawling with them. And so you know, there's a group that just they don't leave the turret. And are you kidding me? And yeah, I'm actually ignoring the archers that I can't easily get to. They don't do enough damage to bother most of the time. Alright, guys. I believe this is the final area. You gonna aggro on me? There you go. I was, I was just I was waiting for that Ornit to aggro on me. There. Alright, now I believe we come in here. And then there shouldn't be any fighting. I have the strongest weapons in the game. I have the strongest armor in the game. I have the best wings in the game. I have some of the strongest mounts in the game. So if this ends in a boss battle, I should be fine. What the hell? He rides a hawk? <clears throat> oh, he has better wings than I do, too. Is this about to be... Is this is a... I knew this was going to happen. I said this was going to happen. Where the heck is my scorpion? Oh, this guy does a lot of damage, too. Um... Where's my scorpion? I don't know how much health does this guy have. Ow, ow, ow. Backing up, backing up. Ow, ow, ow. Have I even, have I even injured him? He just knocked out my... He just knocked out my guy. Like, seriously? I don't know where my scorpion went. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, can I, can I, like... I don't know where my scorpion went. There's my scorpion in, in the freaking wall! Seriously, dude? Not where I want you right now. Okay. Turn around and start beating on this guy. Well, you do that, I am gonna drink another health potion in case you go down. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh my gosh. Okay, almost got him, almost got him. Can we can we hit him one more time? One more time. Come on, one more tail whack maybe? Got him! No, we didn't. We just started a, a second phase. Are you kidding me? No, stop glitching out on me. Uh, wait, where are you going? No. You come over here. Don't be getting yourself glitched in any more walls. Now here, drink up. I should probably th think about getting better... Better health potions. I should have... 
I should have known that it was going to get into a freaking boss battle. Like, for reals. I should have known this. A multi-stage boss battle. Okay, here. Come on. Drink up. Oh my gosh. I was an idiot. I was an idiot. I came completely unprepared for this. I I honestly didn't think it was going to be a boss battle. If we win with me being completely unprepared, I'm going to laugh. And I don't have any any incense to wake him up. No, you no. Oh, frick. Are you kidding me? No. No, the guy's really pissed off at me. I am not prepared for this. I am not in any way, shape, or form prepared for this. Where's my... I, I need to get on my mount. I need to get on my mount. Come on. Come. Oh! My mount is not doing damage. Or, like, barely doing damage. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Get away from him. Okay, poison. Poison. Oh! Oh, jeez. Come on, come on. Wait, there's a door. There's a door there. Okay. Come on. Ow! How am I supposed to be, like... If my scorpion goes down, I'm dead. I'm dead. Because the only weapon I have that does enough damage to this gang is my gun, and yeah, yeah, yeah the, 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 the hand cannon takes so long to reload. Ow. Okay, come on, scorpion. No, 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 no. This guy just stays right on your butt. You just, you, you just have to keep pushing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What happens if we die here? Like, if my stuff is stuck in the middle of a permanent boss battle... Okay, okay. Not good. Okay, I gotta fall... Okay. Come on. Come on. Reload, you stupid thing. I can't reload and run from this thing at the same time. Okay. 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 I have three hit points left. He's not happy, though. He is totally not happy with me. Oh, dang it. Mmm. Is my stuff now sitting in the middle of a boss battle? My stuff is now sitting in the middle of a boss battle, isn't it? My... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. Oh, no. Okay, um, okay, we can do this. <sighs> okay, I should have been picking up all those health elixirs, like, all of them. I, sh I should have been picking those all up. 
Hey, I'm a little worried about where my death point's gonna be. I was just about to say, where are you? Okay. Oh. It looks like we also have to do both of them again. Did my scorpion just fall off? Did my stupid scorpion just fall off? Uh, don't go for me. Die. Die, 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 die. Okay, now back up a little bit. Back up, back up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, I'm getting him. I'm getting him. This is working. Stop running around. Alright. That worked. Okay. We're both still up. I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna hit a nine. And now we get to take on the bird at 19 shots. But if if they could keep. I can do some pretty decent damage to that bird if they can keep him busy. Come on. Ooh, I did I did a thousand there. I did a thousand crit there. Ooh, we are getting this. We are getting this. We are getting this. Ooh, I got him again. I got him again. He is not he is not happy about me. Um. Oh, yes! Okay. We beat his bird. We just beat him. Is there gonna... Oh, and the bird falls down on top of him. Did the bird just crush him? Is he dead? Is that how he died? We're... we're... Okay, and then he goes this way, it looks like. But let's go get our stuff. <laughs> like, seriously? It's the only reason we're here. We got our stuff back. You know what? You know what? Because I am I am worried of a potential third. Let's do that and nine. Just to make sure we're fully healed up. Um uh, okay. Notes on the decks detail Melkar the Apothecary's research. Seems that Melkar has found the final ingredient he needed in these lands and completed the elixir of life. Isolated and in hiding, he began experimenting on himself. Okay. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me that was Melkar. These were notes are scribbled on the scrolls around the alchemy. These are records of Melkar's experimental trials with the elixir of life. Melkar seems to have discovered that the elixir was giving him extra vitality and extending his life. He appears to have become obsessed with taking the elixir and making himself near immortal. The notes take on an increasingly aggressive tone as if the elixir had begun influencing his mind. Oh, no, no, no! Don't tell me. Some scrolls deal with the, the culmination of... Melkar's research surrounding an intricate alchemical apparatus. Melkar's notes are angry and paranoid now. He seems to be reinventing himself under a new persona to match his deteriorated mentality. On the final page is, I am Eodric, I am Eodric, repeated over and over. The trolls explain that the apparatus carries out the final process to synthesize the elixir. The vial atop the pedestals has been filled already. Oh, no. No. Oh, and we can actually get his equipment. The armor is mostly fine, and near it are schematics detailing the fabrication method. You believe you can replicate these items. We just got his armor. 
but no the the elixir makes you go crazy if we give this elixir to the queen the queen could lose her mind so they put something there that didn't actually matter dang it i was hoping that that mattered but we have the elixir for better or for worse oh fudge we beat the boss <laughs> how do i get down from here oh just like that okay and now his lab is forever spookified with that weird liquid there. I don't want to know what that liquid is. Honestly, that that's what we're going to do. We're going to get out of here now. Just like that. That, okay. That was kind of a cool way to get out. That was a cool way to get out. Just like, see ya, suckas. Okay, well, now we go to the old guy. So I will be right back when we get to the old guy. Um, hopefully we can tell him what happened with the elixir. Uh, but yeah, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm fairly certain I just talked to the elder and that's going to end the story. Hey, they I think they added that door. I don't think that door was there before. Okay. Please tell me I actually tell him tell him about the fact that she loses her mind. Please. Please tell please tell me that we do it. Okay. About your discoveries. Does that mean everything? Kratom, Melkar still alive after all these years. The repeated use of the elixir must have extended his life but corrupted his mind. We'll need to be f careful when administering it to the queen. What became of Melkar Edric in the end? Well, he confronted me and I was forced to defend myself. I'm afraid he didn't survive the encounter. You did what you had to do. We should get to the elixir to the queen's physicians right away. Do you have it with you? Okay. Why is the qu why is the queen guards have really really cool armor? And that was the end. Vanguard, you saved our queen and protected our people. Bestowed upon you is the title of champion. You are, you are hereby entrusted the queen's grace. A sword representing your valiant deeds. Other challenges await us in the overland, but the sacred owl watches over us all, and we will not falter. Okay. So am I pretty much about to be given a creative weapon that I can now slaughter whatever I want to slaughter? Oh! Can I get an owl mount? I want owl mount. I want owl mount. And that was the end. Owl mount now <laughs> I want an owl mount <laughs> that's that what I want oh my gosh there is that and they have a very small team do they don't they yeah look at all the backers though Okay. Oh, that actually took out a lot of my hunger. 
Queen's Grace. Edge damage 24 to 33. Compared to my 24 to 33. 24. Th I mean, it's kind of cooler, but that's. Is that really it? Like. Oh! Okay! That. That is cool. And now. The other thing we need to do is, I think we've unlocked everything now. If I come over here to the codex, there should be zero question marks anywhere. There's a single question mark in the stone cutter. What? Seriously? There's a single question mark in the stone cutter? What did I not find in this for the stone cutter? Okay. And there's a single question mark in the forge. But Tyrant's Crown, Tyrant's Wings. Wait, is that it? Just a crown and the wings? Okay, and that's a uh, no cold protection there. Like that's zero pr that's the sucky cold protection, but those wings look cool. Pyrite feather and Rishi leather. You know what? Let's go home real quick and let's just make those wings. Tyrant's wings. Oh, and they fit with my armor better. Oh, these things look amazing. Alright guys, that... This is our wings. These are our new wings. I mean, they look amazing. Alright, well guys. We are going to end there. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the big thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more. Uh, we have finished the game. So, uh, one, I need names for my tames. Uh, we haven't had any names given yet, but at the same time, like, I just recorded things yesterday, and yeah. Um, but... Names names are needed for our tames. And is there anything else you guys can think of that we can do? You know, we, we have... We've done everything. There's still two question marks of things that we haven't figured out. And they're going to be releasing more content. They're not done releasing content. And we have a bunch of eggs where were they all there's a bunch of eggs that we could incubate and do a bunch of of base attacks and base defenses and like we could see if we could build the ultimate base defense because getting resources now with this guy being able to fly anywhere in the map is going to be quick and easy and then we just need to bring our scorpion with us so here, I'm going to have him join our party back up here. But yeah, we just bring him, bring our scorpion, and fly around. And we can get all the resources we want, do whatever we want. So we can, like, build the ultimate base and then do a bunch of defense, uh, bunch of defense missions and, you know, see what happens. Uh, or if you guys want, I can end the series here. All up to you guys. You tell me what you want me to do, at least until they start releasing some more stuff. And then when they release some more stuff, we'll keep it going. They should release a DLC, though, where, like, the queen goes evil, and we have to stop her. But, anyways, I'm, I'm enough there. <laughs> have a wonderful day, everybody.